My name is Gracie Gonzalez. I'm 13 years old and my nicknames are either Gigi or Speedy Gonzalez. Gracie as a baby, I just remember her being the cutest baby ever. She was adorable and chubby and she just had a great personality, always happy. I grew up in Biggs, California near Chico with my big sister Hannah and my brother Alex. She was very full of energy throughout her entire childhood. Hannah was the dancer, the graceful dancer. Alex was the athlete and Gracie was the best of both. I mean, she was athletic. She was never afraid of anything. She'd try it all. My favorite thing to do is hip hop dancing. It's my passion. I love dancing. I kind of forget about everything that's happening when I'm dancing. I was about 11 when I started not to feel good. Starting in January of 2016, she was experiencing back pain. First, I thought she's so active. It was just because she pulled a muscle at dance or hurt herself at softball. But then after it kept happening more and more, I thought I better take her to the doctor just to be safe. After the blood test and they said, well, her, her blood counts are a little low, but that's nothing to worry about. Worst part of this was that that night they sent us home. Monday morning I went back to the hospital and got records. I called the pediatrician and demanded more testing. We had an MRI and that came back with something there, but he couldn't tell me what. Gracie and Alex and I went to a Giants game. When we were at the Giants game, I remember getting Gracie's diagnosis. I heard him say the words cancer, and I heard him say that they were doing a bone marrow, and I knew then. Just seeing her walking in, you know, with her jersey on, and just thinking her life as we know it is never going to be the same. All my doctors and my um, anesthesiologist for my port surgery told me that we would win this fight together. I mean, you really can't believe it. You know, we started chemo two days later, and then you're just on this big roller coaster, and we just went through the motions. First thing I asked my doctor is if I was going to lose my hair, and she told me yes, and that was hard for me being a girl and always having long hair. Tracy was very strong, and she, she did a great job going through her treatment. On my birthday, I couldn't have any friends friends over for my birthday because my counts were still low. People in the community, teachers and friends, and even Hannah made like a surprise visit. They gathered at the end of our block and they all walked down to the cul-de-sac. I took Gracie upstairs and told her she had a surprise. She was speechless, which doesn't happen very often. There was at least a hundred people from our community that were holding signs and balloons. They brought presents. And saying happy birthday to me from outside and that was very special and I really appreciate it. When they say that cancer affects the whole family. It is so true because everybody's been touched. My parents and Gracie's siblings, it's been very hard on them as well. Having watched uh, Gracie go through all of what she's been through, I feel like she has gotten a lot more confidence in who she is and she's just a very caring person. I think Gracie has showed courage beyond belief. I'm a big fan of Ellen DeGeneres. When I was in the hospital, I used to watch her YouTube videos and it would always make me have a good laugh. One of the hardest parts of Gracie's treatment was us finding out that she has also been diagnosed with ABN, which stands for avascular necrosis. The steroids from her treatment caused the bones in both of her knees to lose blood supply and the bones in her knees have, have died. She was placed in a wheelchair for about eight months. On a positive note, she's been out of her wheelchair now for a couple of months, keeping our fingers crossed that her bones will strengthen and she'll be able to get back to normal activities. I'm very proud of Gracie for being chosen as the girl of the year for LLS. What she's gone through and what she's going through and how she's changing people's lives and with the help of uh, LLS it's been amazing. We all feel that it's really special to be part of LLS and her representing that because to be part of something where funds are going to be raised to help families like ourselves and to help you know other children like Gracie we're really so thankful to be part of that and thankful for the people that are making that happen. This will forever change her life and in, in such a good direction for her to go on into this world and she's going to she, she's going to make a difference. I would like to thank all the people who are donating and raising money for LLS. I really appreciate it. Thank you LLS. Thank you LLS. Thank you so much. Thank you LLS for saving my sister.